Yo, what is going on, friends? This video is going to talk about high availability and fault tolerance in the context of an AWS hosted application. So let's jump right into it. What does this mean? These are essential characteristics of a high caliber application and system. Cloud providers like AWS strongly encourage and facilitate design decisions that create such systems. So what is fault tolerance? Fault tolerance is a characteristic of a system that remains operational even if individual components within that system fail. You might think of it like the different components in the system have some built-in redundancy so that one is not a bottleneck. The nice thing about AWS is that they've invested a lot into making sure their services do have that aspect of fault tolerance. So for example, you have the simple Q service or SQS. Um, this is AWS's way of ensuring that any kind of resource that depends on messaging or any kind of alerting from anything else is able to get that message even if it fails and has to restart. <clears throat> Let's use an example of autoscale. So say autoscale has a particular uh, trigger in which it scales up your EC2 instances after a certain amount of uh, CPU usage. Now Cl CloudWatch is monitoring that and say CPU usage goes over 90%, it will publish an alert that, that Autoscale will use. Now, but let's say Autoscale for whatever reason fails at that time, maybe the network falls, something along those lines. What, what the message was sent, so is Autoscaler never going to scale up? Well, no, in fact, if that message were to go to SQS, SQS would wait until there is an available uh, autoscaler instance running, and then it will send that message to the queue. You never have to worry about important drop messages when using um, SQS. Another example is S3 service. So stored data remains available even if a single availability zone fails. This is one of the d defining characteristics of S3. Likewise, we have RDS, which has several fault tolerant tools built into it, such as auto backup, multi-availability zone replicas, and snapshots, among others. All right, 